Okay, so question number four is um, draw a Lewis structure for formate ion. So the formate ion is HCO2 minus. So now let's find out the total number of valence electrons for this ion. Hydrogen has one valence electron, carbon has four, and oxygen has six, and there are two oxygen atoms, so we multiply this by two. And then lastly, since the entire ion carries a negative one charge, I'm going to add an additional electron to our final count. And then if we add these all up, we get a total of 18 valence electrons. Okay, so now let's try to write the Lewis structure for the formate ion. I'll start off with the carbon. So the carbon will most likely be single bonded with the hydrogen. And then I'm just going to draw single bonds to each of my oxygens. So notice that carbon doesn't have a full octet. So now I'm just going to make one of these oxygens have a double bond and draw all of the lone pairs in. And then from there, I'm just going to count out how many electrons I've drawn so far. So each bond contains two bonding electrons, and we have four bonds, so that's eight and 18 electrons are drawn if we add them all up. So now I just want to calculate the formal charge of the ions. So the equation for formal charge is the number of valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus the number of bonding electrons divided by two. Okay, so let's see what the formal charge of hydrogen is. So hydrogen has one valence electrons. There are no lone pairs on hydrogen either, so there are zero non-bonding electrons. And finally, there's a single bond to the hydrogen, so we have two bonding electrons divided by two. So hydrogen has a zero formal charge. So let's do the same thing for our carbon. Carbon contains four electrons. There are no lone pairs, so there's zero non-bonding electrons. And the number of bonds to carbon is four. So we have eight bonding electrons divided by two, which is also zero in the end. And now let's do the formal charge of our oxygen that has the double bond. Oxygen has six valence electrons. For the double bonded oxygen, there are four non-bonding electrons. And then lastly, there are two bonds from the oxygen. So we have four bonding electrons divided by two. So six minus four minus two is just zero. And now let's do the formal charge of our single bonded oxygen. So this still has six valence electrons. The number of non-bonding electrons is six, and there's only a single bond to this oxygen. So there's two bonding electrons divided by two. So in the case of the single bonded oxygen, it has a formal charge of negative one. So now I know that for the formate ion, the negative charge comes from the single bonded oxygen. So now let's see what the junior tutor said. 
Follow the following steps to draw a Lewis structure. Step one, calculate the total number of valence electrons, so they got 18. Step two is to connect all the atoms in the molecule with single covalent bonds to draw a skeletal structure. Okay, so then they said that carbon is selected as the central atom because it can form more bonds than oxygen and hydrogen. Um, people, you would also say that carbon can be the central atom because it can form more bonds, but also because it is um, less electronegative than the oxygen. So typically the, the least electronegative element would be the central atom, with the exception of hydrogen, since hydrogen can only form one bond. So that's why carbon is most likely going to be the central atom. So oxygen, which needs just two electrons to reach uh, neon's noble gas configuration, forms two bonds maximum. And hydrogen, which just needs one to reach the noble gas configuration of helium, forms only one bond. Therefore, carbon is placed at the center. Oxygen atoms and hydrogen are made to bond with carbon, and there are three bonds in the skeletal structure. Okay, so then they place the remaining 12 electrons on the atom so that the octet of the max atoms gets filled. And then now they added a lone pair on the carbon since it didn't have a full octet. And then they calculated the formal charge of all of the atoms in the molecule. Make sure that they have the smallest possible formal charges. Okay, and they got negative 1 for the singly bonded oxygen and got the correct Lewis structure. So the solution is correct. Thank you.